What's up guys, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. In today's video, I've decided to share with you guys something that I feel is very important but we usually overlook it, especially for us that are using Cubase Fire. So studies have shown that staring at too much light for such a long time causes I fatigue. So as music producers, we spend a lot of time staring at the computer screen. The more light we expose our eyes to, the more fatigue we get and the more headaches we get. If you look at most DAWs and if you look at the recent versions of Cubase, you'll notice that they've kept going to a dark appearance. And the reason why most of these softwares are going into dark appearance, if you look at Cubase 10.5, the FL Studio, I don't know other DAWs, but almost every DAW is going to be in dark mode. It's because you want to have more time staring at your screen. You want to have less eye fatigue and less headaches so that you can concentrate on mixing what you're mixing. So in today's video for Cubase users, the ones that are not ready yet to upgrade to another version of Cubase, I'm going to show you how you can change your appearance. Just try to make a little bit of some changes to the appearance and just make it a little bit more eye friendly. You reduce on fatigue, you also reduce on headaches, therefore you spend more time mixing. So all you need to do to customize your appearance in Cubase 5 is go to file to your top left, click on file, then go to preferences. So under preferences, this window will pop up here. You'll see you've got a general meters and work area. So the work area is this one here. So if I click on this, these are the colors in our work area. So what do we want to do to this? I just want to bring down the brightness so that we reduce on the amount of light that we're receiving in our eyes, which might cause fatigue and headaches. When I take this all the way this side, you'll see that I've taken almost all of this to a dark mode. And then I'll click on general. So this is for your mixer. You can just take the brightness a little bit down below here. Once you do that, just click apply. Okay. And okay. So if you notice from here, you'll see that your Cubase has changed. So now in your work area, the background is a little bit dark. So this works to your advantage. You spend more time mixing, uh, less eye fatigue, and it will minimize on the headaches that you get. And then for the mixer, uh, if we go to mixer, it's like this. Once you restart, it will change to a dark mode. So I'll just show you this once I restart my Cubase. So your mixer changes to this color. Therefore, it will be easy for you to mix in this type of uh, appearance. Thanks a lot guys for watching. I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So make sure you turn on that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. My name is Jay. Follow me on Instagram at JTheMG. Let's interact from there. I'm out.